Hello, all you beautiful people. I'm Tim Sama. I'm Brad Magnamoon. And welcome back to DDLC. Last episode, um, things got royally fucked. Turns out deleting a character from the game kind of messes with the code a bit. Who would have guessed? Yeah, who would have thunk it? <laughs> um, everyone seems a bit more extreme. Their passions seem to be boiling close to the surface. And uh, I'm getting steadily harder as I watch it. Yeah, well, we did just see a girl run home crying, so um, naturally yeah, you crying girls are my fetish. No, not <laughs> girl at all. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, anyway, we're back to write a poem. So let's uh, let's fail. do this. Yeah. All right. Well, we um, all right. So we don't really know who we're gonna do. I'm just gonna go. Sa Where'd all our save files go? What the? F Fucker. <laughs> a lot of saves are gone. Alright, well I'm going to save here. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you, you can't have saves from when a character existed. When the yeah, character I suppose it's exists. technically corrupt. Anyway, alright, so let's let's just go to Natsuki again this one. Um, and we'll see how it goes. If we miss something, we'll just load it before we reach the cl climax, like we did with um, the first act. Yeah. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the last past couple of days. Yeah, we're in it. Two days! So you're comfortable. Here to the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Tim. Oh, uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me, or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. She does look a little bit different. Uh, at least they fixed up the back mural. Mm. It's not uh, um... fucked anymore. Yuri glanced over his shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because I was first time sharing poems? Maybe, Maybe we... uh, someone was missing? Maybe the room was twisting and fucking zooming in? It didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided there's no way you can be a bad person. And now you're apologizing. I know you didn't mean it. Ah! Uh, Tim. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They made me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Uh... Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey! Have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. She wasn't like, staring at me or anything, you know? It's kind of weird. Man! Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Hmm. Yuri is clearly taken aback about how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all! I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Hmm. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Natsuki, about yesterday... I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri! What the heck are you talking about? Called it. Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh, but, but... I'll accept your apology anyway. 
if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Ah! Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Hmm. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Thanks, bitch. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not! <laughs> what took you so long, anyway? Ah, uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. Your mum. <laughs> I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still? That must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Oh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime! Uh, that's not gonna fucking happen. <laughs> <laughs> Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Tim. Monica smiles sweetly. You know, I'm just she's even narrating herself now. It seems uh, oddly yeah. apt, actually. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like you. You just kind of dismissed your friends, too. What the fuck? Well, uh, don't worry. They're still here. I swear it. <laughs> I was hoping I could share it with you anyway. Any I guess way? that's why I've been practicing... What? what? Anyway? Don't cunt. <laughs> I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So I didn't miss anything, did I? That's what I'm not to not really. I chose not to bring up about anything about the three of us talking and shit, because, well, fuck them. Besides, not to get already run off into the closet. That's literally right behind you. Tim, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club! Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I should nice. say no to you anyway after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! Oh, I think you need to sound angrier than that. Okay, let me, let me give you that a go. She's fine! <laughs> That's Natsuki. She's fine! <laughs> She's reading over there, see? How do you do it with her? How was I doing it? I was like, don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. I can't. Come on, we're going over there. Okay, so I guess the um poem choices don't affect who you spend time with today. What's the story about anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. <laughs> Basically, it's this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. That's a lot more open than last time. Yeah, I don't... I don't think... But the facility gets even worse. They start selectively breeding by people by cutting off their this ribs and not... fixing them to... This what is... the fuck are you reading? <laughs> this is awesome. I want to read this. <laughs> Ooh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. You should have looked at the back of the book. Well, well, at least she knew what she was reading this time. But, but anyway, I'm really into it. The, the book, I mean. Are you sure you're not into being, you know, having your limbs cut off and being affixed to something? The, not the thing about the limbs. The... That's kind of line. It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, and that said dark to No, she fucking didn't. Not this time she didn't. Uh... Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Tim? 
No, it's not that. I mean, I like Alice Cooper. And he's sung about something similar before. Yeah, one of his albums. Um, Along Came a Spider. Oh. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, uh, one of the songs is a... Yeah, I'll show you sometime. Excellent. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Anyway. It, it's just that this kind of story... It's... it's the kind that challenges you to look with life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil... BUT BECAUSE THE WORLD IS FULL OF HORRIBLE PEOPLE, AND WE'RE ALL WORTHLESS ANYWAY! Is it sad that I agree with that statement? <laughs> yes. Then suddenly... <laughs> I'm rambling, aren't I? That was brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Not again. Sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. I glitch out sometimes. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts... My whole body gets incredibly... I kind of forget to pay attention <laughs> to other people. Oh man. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start, start talking too much. That's line. I really don't think you really need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. At least I can do is listen. It's Literature Club, after all. Just had a thought about passionate reading. <laughs> that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Just... Yes. Is that you, Sachiko? I mean, you, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Open the book, you fucking retard. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had in my bag. I guess you're the retard. You're trying to open the book you don't have yet. <laughs> I absolutely agree with that statement. <laughs> Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Huh. Yeah? Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Wait, I, this is exactly the way I said it last time, I do, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm a one-trip one you pony. You, you are, yeah, you are who you are. That's, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just that something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Well, Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel a presence on my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry! I was just paying them, but Yuri. Yuri! You really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> yeah, this should work, right? <laughs> Holy shit, you do that perfect. <laughs> I slide my desk until something in Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. It's uh, not Krabby Patties! <laughs> oh, God. Uh... I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Yeah. Yuri similar. takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. I still like that image. Mm. It's, it's just, it's so detailed. Okay. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, when I turn a page, Yuri slides under her thumb after she flip, after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's just like I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Oh, yawns. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
Uh, eh? What was that? <laughs> to turn the page! Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. What was that noise? <laughs> I glanced over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'd be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's, that's okay. A, uh, that's your line. You're not a used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Aww. Thanks. Look at that smile. It's gone now. It is. We continue reading. You already know that asked me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assumed she finished the page before me, so I turned it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. So far, this is exactly the same as the first time. Yeah, we can't skip it, though. Even though turning each page always makes it, makes it feel like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character reminds me, reminds you, kind of reminds me of you a little bit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's different. What the fuck? Fucking psychotic is what that is. No, I don't relate to this character at all. She wasn't this like this last time. No, this is new. She, she was more like, oh, really? Now this time it's like, no. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Oh, <laughs> that's a Sayori expression. Yeah. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Could the character in this book actually be Yuri? I don't know. Like, the way she just became so suddenly defensive about it. But this book is about a fucking yeah. limbless uh, experimentation bullshit. But in so. the first chapter she also says it's about a girl who ends up with her sister. Like, who goes with a... True. With a, there could be a, just two different ways of telling the story. True. Yeah, I mean... Something it, it, else? N never mind! She, there she goes again. I think she might be... Yeah, it could be that um, the first time she was talking about uh, the, char the main character, and the second time she's focusing more on the experiments and shit. We didn't even get that far yet. God, look at her. She's fucking... It's creepy. So I don't know why that came into my head. I mean, uh, it shouldn't bother us that there's creepiness in this game after Sayori's tragic Yeah, events, I know, but... but... <laughs> Are you feeling alright? <laughs> oh, no, she looks so sad. You've always been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? You already puts her hands on her chest as if, as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine! She looks like she's gonna fucking kill someone. I just need some water! Alright, don't push yourself. <laughs> Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. Gotta go fast. <sighs> what on earth was that about? Damn. Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you, are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Only in my mind. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I believe you, silly. It would be hard not to believe someone who said that. <laughs> Yuri just does this sometimes, it's nothing alarming. <clears throat> my balls just dropped. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our problems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, and slip it back into my bag. Mental notes, that's not a good idea. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, Yuri's not an option, because she's having a very long drink of water. So, yeah, who? <sighs> Don't think it really matters that much, does it? Uh, probably not, but... Let's skip, let's skip options back, so let's go to... Um, that skip. Yeah, she'll like our poem. Hmm! Well, it's not terrible! But it's pretty disappointing after your last one! 
But didn't we do cutesy again? Yeah, we did. Then again, if this one is as good as, was as good as your last one, I'd be completely pissed. Well, if you're getting drunk on poems, that's your fucking problem, isn't it? Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the clubs write different, writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence with all of us. For instance, I noticed you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. That is so depressing. Well, I know, right? So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Oh. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'd probably be able to learn something from it. Oh, yes, it's, uh, it's in, uh, Aramaic. It looks like a cookie clicker fucking export. Okay, here we go. Super Saiyan Blue jizz your way for games. Okay, well, let's, let's read the abridged version. This is not my sandwich. This is the way. No, do you not know? Spit on him, brothers! <laughs> Oh, that meme is so dead. Oh, shit, how, how to do this one? Tim! Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you! I was waiting for a long time! It was the only thing I had to look forward to today! No! Why did you ruin it? You was creepy. Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her! Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak! That should be obvious by now! What the fuck? So just play with me instead! You're not small enough to be- Oh, fuck. What is happening? Okay! You don't hate me, Tim, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to make- You wanna make me go home crying? Oh, she's bleeding out the eyes. What the fuck, man? This club is the only place I feel safe! Don't ruin that for me! Don't ruin it! Please! Just stop talking to Yuri! Play with me instead! It's all I have! Play with me! Play with me! What the fuck? Look at her mouth! Is it? Oh my dear god! What the- What?! Ah! Dene? It just goes back to normal. I have never seen that before. It's fucking creepy. I saw an act, second act playthrough. I think it's because we picked all of her options. That's why that's creepy. That's where that fucking meme came from. I was wondering about that. Holy shit! She came to the screen and she was running. You could tell by the way it moved. What the fuck? Bleeding from her eyes. So... It's fucking terrifying. What the shit? I didn't realize we were playing a fucking um, Cawthorn game. <laughs> Five Nights at fucking Monica's. <laughs> Shit, that's gonna be a thing now, isn't it? I bet if we Google it, it'll be there. Yeah. Hi again, Tim. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'm just covering from PTSD. How are you doing? I'll take that. Why hasn't take she glitched what? yet? As long... Uh, as long as it's not going bad. Don't ask me questions, Brad, you fuckwit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want me to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. It's just a bunch of words and gibberish. I kind of took a shit on it too, but... It smells like me. I give my poem to Monica. You smell like shit? Yes. Huh. Oh, Alright. Great job, Tim. I'm gonna go blow my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical and metaphysical. And quantum mechanics and shit. It ignored exa it ignored what we selected entirely. And assumed Where's my mouse cursor? Oh there it is. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. We didn't. And hard. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Uh, it's not very fair. 
Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I'm surprised, considering I all the flowers and shit I picked. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's only totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she used to be indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for her own alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back! Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we were just sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors. They weren't bright. B bit for close. Fishing, expending, piercing, red, green, blue, and nodulous cacophony. Oh, oh, is that even a word? Um, cacophony. Oh, is that it? Mm -hmm. I've never, I've never, fuck off, Monica. Stop making me feel R stupid. R remember I, Doom, Caco Demons? That's where it came from. No idea. Hmm. I'm being this noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent gratting. Oh, okay. is it great? Fuck off, cunt! Oh. <laughs> we, we're from. Is that a female symbol? Scranking, scratch nigger, piercing, sign, con sign, tang it. Like playing. It's. Isn't this kind of like the same one as yesterday, except we're missing letters? Uh, it's not the same one as yesterday, but it's like. Like last. Uh, yeah, last chapter. Act. Last act. It's like. Yeah, but it's missing a whole bunch of shit and. Let's see. Knife! Like goes... Breathing! Ribcage! That wasn't in there before. Was it? I think it was, but it wasn't, um, a capital. Delete her. What? No. No, we didn't. No. I think that, that, that sounds like a suggestion. It could be. But. I'm not doing it. <laughs> no. But uh, this is. It can't be. Because she's a character. She doesn't know about the game. Alright? <laughs> <laughs> so delete her. it must be it must be what, what, what? you fucking son of a bitch stop fucking sorry with me. I know it's kind of abstract don't judge me Brad you fuckhead <laughs> I'm just trying to come um I mean um well never mind there's no point in explaining anyway here's one of this writing tip of the day sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision when that happens don't forget to save the game you never know when um who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. That's my advice for today. What? Right? Delete her. Save your game. What? Thanks for listening. Which her is she referring to anyway? This too. Who should I show my palm to next? I wonder. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Mm. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I just like holding it. It's kind of great. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the poem turned out good. Great vocabulary use. Yeah, you can do better than that. It's that. Uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Holy fuck. Kinda creepy. <laughs> but then you got the adorable face of a laugh of laughing. Hmm. That came out a little awkward. Fucking A. But let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Do I have to subscribe? <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, your Wait, turn. I, I can I can possibly do this. Is that what's that on the page? Uh, probably just like drink. She spelled tea or something. But that dried black. This one dried brown, like 
<laughs> blood or something. Nah, it'd be red if it was blood. So it's just possibly, but possibly it, tea and that's well, possibly like a, a ink stain. Oh, very, very good. Wheel. I'm not going to read in their voices too much. Uh, a rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A uh, torn harness. Parabolic gearbox. Expanding universe. Time controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning. A prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes. Okay. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox. A sky of exploding stars. God disapproving the existence of... Uh, God disproving the existence of God. <laughs> that... That, That's you, cunt. No, that that is a Hitchhiker's Guide to a gal to the Galaxy. Oh, wait, yeah, that, I thought it sounded familiar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, forty gears, and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks every second time. <laughs> <laughs> God, how do you work that out? Uh, a bolt head of. Holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connected to a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolthead, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. You know, it's still better than anything I could fucking write. But actually, it's probably one of the most inventive things I've ever seen. Like, some of these just sentence concepts are just something I, and, could, yeah, I could not imagine. I also shit. like the repeating. Like, lots of wheels and cogs, eyes, and, and everything's wrapped up and twisting around, ropes tied and shit. It's it's like a knot I mean, of words. look at this shit. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. That's fucking amazing. That's just a great... It's oh, just I, it's I a like random the, sentence. Um, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to, to uh, the existence of a dock ship to another world. That's really cool. All right, let's let's it's, see. How... It's <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. It's not about anything. My mind is a little being a little hyperactive lately, so I take it out on your pen. So I have to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is the the, the pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so. It, Took it home for safekeeping and what? She's turning into a yendari. I um just really like the way it writes, so I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> That's creepy. That's that Sayori's mouth. Fuck me! It is too. That I'm okay. Why don't I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. <laughs> yes, let's, um... Let's, let's read, read this it. one. A dream. I was wandering in an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crash crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Oh. Okay. Someone's drowning. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could just come sit in front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we could put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Tim joined and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. 
We still only have four members. And the festival is the only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members, anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and be more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why you should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Tim? Uh... Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Tim to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. It's not my fault, it was the Catholic priest. What, Monica? Do you really think any of his... Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Tim joined. And as for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Tim isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Huh. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. Pretty accurate. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Tim want to get more members too. Right? Uh, uh, I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. I don't, I don't care, can't be. been there three days. Who gives if I shit? showed up as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, it's up to me to rescue the situation. Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why do I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? That doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Tim, why did you even join this club? Really Peer pressure! <laughs> <laughs> what were you hoping to get out of it? Blade? <laughs> well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Hmm. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind! Is it a crime to be honest? Yes! It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand it all! I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me! She's not taking anything away. No, Tim. And it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Hmm. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Why was that Natsuki's voice? Anyway, because I, I, I'm trying to get a crazy voice for her and I'm not doing it right. So it's coming out as her. As <laughs> uh, that's right, Brad. Right, it's all good. I mean... I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. It's because Natsuki went away. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody 
even cry if she killed herself. Fuck. Ah! Whoa. Gross. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Tim? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. <clears throat> Jesse Blanc. Each member contributes the little. Each member contributes their own qualities to Ah, oh, fuck you, I'm gonna do it again. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in member, hey members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Why is her eye dripping? What? Oh, cunt! I just had a brain aneurysm. That, uh, that means that actually happened. It wasn't just a glitch, it, uh, it the glitch something actually she affected The glitch her. popped her a fucking a vessel in her eye. What the fuck, man? Right. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Do you need a tissue? Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Oh, well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Tim? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat with a little bit of Tim before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of this time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Hmm. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monaco. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Why am I more comfortable now that Yuri's gone? No, no. Things have been a little bit hectic lately, haven't they? Tim, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Whoa. I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. Because in all the time we've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to, see, mean to say something weird. Oh, I'm fucking used to it today. <laughs> There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things that only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! What? What? <laughs> <laughs> right. Holy shit. Well, um... It seems that it, it makes sense for her to, say, like, delete her. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's so it would she's seem. Fucking, but... uh, she's clued in. She, she's jacked in. She jacked off. Um, Two, at least. Yeah, I... Yeah. I mean, I, I remember the memes and the joke, and Jesus, it, it just keeps pointing towards it. There's a lot more hints in this than I remember. Um, Alright, anyway, uh, we'll just we'll end this episode here, and we'll just pick it up again... Yeah, in a second, so... <laughs> We'll continue playing, but um, well, but for you, you'll have to load it. Uh, don't worry, episode. Don't worry, we're not going to put ads on it. Don't worry. Not that you're watching. Bye. Bye.